Clarence is one of those shows that you either watched or didn't. Personally, I enjoyed Clarence. It was a fun slice of life that followed him and his friends as they went through adolescence. But there's one episode that everyone has watched and seemingly remembers, even people that never really watched Clarence, and that's because of the memes. But also how dark and relatable it was, and that episode is called. The episode begins with Clarence at a show and tell, and he's showing off his favorite toy called Little Buddy. It's dirty and damaged, but that's only because Clarence really loves it, and it's obvious that he plays with it a lot. And hey, which one of us isn't a bit damaged, am I right? During recess, Clarence goes around the playground and tries to get other kids to play with the Little Buddy, but he gets rejection after rejection. This kind of hurts his feelings, but I get it from both sides. Clarence really loves this toy, and when you love something, you want to show it to other people and get validation. Just like how you love this channel and want to subscribe, right? On the other hand, Little Buddy is the stuff of nightmares, and the kids weren't trying to be rude by refusing to play with it, they just didn't want to get haunted for the rest of their lives. Clarence sees this one kid and rushes over to him, but as he tries to get away, he gets hurt and starts crying. A teacher quickly rushes over and sends Clarence to time out for 5 minutes, and as he tries to explain that it was an accident, the teacher threatens him with 5 more minutes for talking. So Clarence defeatedly sits down and counts the time till he can go back out and play, but the minutes turn into hours, and the hours turn into years, and all of a sudden he witnesses the collapse of society. Well at least that's how it felt for Clarence. This is probably the most accurate depiction of how Time Out is as a kid, and that's something I honestly really appreciate about the show, that it can capture what it feels like to be a kid. Clarence starts to realize that it's been over 5 minutes, but is scared to say anything because of the consequences of talking, so he starts panicking not knowing what to do when. Your 5 minutes was up 5 minutes ago! Why didn't you say something? Hurry up and go play before the bell rings! Oh, uh... <laughs> Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles. This entire episode could have been prevented if this teacher showed some empathy and apologized for her mistake, but she didn't. For the rest of the day, Clarence is despondent. His friends try to talk to him and tell him missing Reese's is not a big deal, but he's just not there. When he gets home, Clarence starts to lose it. Why didn't you say something? Um, how about because I wasn't allowed to? I just, I just wanted people to play with. Sorry, buddy. This is how to cook it. This is honestly heartbreaking. We know from earlier that Clarence loves Little Buddy to death, and he was already having a bad day as it is, but accidentally ripping the arm off was the thing that pushed him over. Ashamed of what he's done, Clarence takes his scooter and rides off with Little Buddy. He doesn't know where he's going, he just needs to get away. He ends up in a field and digs a grave for his friend and throws him in. Although missing Reese's hurt Clarence, I think given a couple days he would have been in better spirits. It's the fact that he hurt something he loves that really broke him. Over the next couple days, Clarence is going through it. His mom tries to talk to him but no answer. He continues with his daily routine, but he's just there physically. Emotionally, he's absent. In this funk, Clarence ends up cutting his hair, changing his clothes, and even starts misbehaving in class, which lands him in detention with delinquents. Essentially, he tried to destroy everything that made Clarence Clarence. A lot of people see Clarence's reaction as extreme, and I agree to an extent, but I think they neglect how Clarence is feeling by acting like this. Everyone is different, just because you consider something as not a big deal, may be huge for somebody else. This whole situation is clearly hard on Clarence. And since he doesn't have a healthy way of expressing his emotions, he keeps it bottled up inside and it keeps building up and building up until one day, the recess monitor is called over to the playground because there's an incident that's going on. She gets there and sees Clarence harassing people with little buddy's broken arm. You! You blow that whistle and you're making a big mistake! Duh. I'm sorry Clarence, I understand you're going through it but that does not mean you're safe from the fashion police. <sighs> Boy, why are you dressed like that? Right at the climax of the situation, when everything's about to blow up, Clarence gets pantsed by a delinquent, and as retaliation, proceeds to sucker punch the culprit. Whoa, children fighting! I can sell this! Clarence gets sent to the principal's office for a special punishment, but is met with his teacher instead of the principal. She tells Clarence that she's noticed that he's been having a hard time lately. With all the detentions and now fighting, this is serious and needs to be dealt with immediately. But first, she has something for him. Someone here wants to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Little buddy, this is. Oh, oh. Clarence starts crying. This is the first time he's shown any emotion since he's gotten in trouble. Everything that he's bottled up till this point just starts coming out. When Clarence hurt Little Buddy, it broke him because he never thought he would do that to somebody he loves. And not knowing how to deal with the guilt set him on this downward spiral. He just needed some reassurance or validation, but never received it. Unfortunately, his teacher says they know how upset he was when he lost his recess, and it wasn't fair. So his special punishment is a recess that Clarence gets all to himself. Just like that, Clarence is back to being himself. Just a little kindness goes a 
long way. I love this episode of Clarence for two reasons. One is the relatability. A lot of us have experienced something for some reason expects us deeply. On the outside it may seem small, but to us it isn't, and that's okay. What you feel and think matters. Unless you go out looking like this, then you kind of deserve to get punched. But the second point is that your actions always have an effect. All Clarence needed was a little empathy and kindness to feel better. And once he got it, he was no longer in that funk he fell into. Either way, subscribe or I'll send a little buddy to get you tonight. Fast